welcome to a history lesson. This is a game from Cyan Inc. It's their first ever game. The creators have missed. Um, they made three exploration games. Uh, this one called Manhole. Uh, then they made Cosmic Cosmo, I think. And Spelunk or something like that. Um, I've played Cosmic Cosmo before. This is the first time I've played Manhole. Done by the Miller Brothers. Uh, when I get an opportunity, I will turn the sound off. Mute the sound. Whew! Okay, wow. Um, so basically, uh, when they first... Uh, the Miller Brothers are Christian and they wanted to make a non-violent game, I guess. And computers were relatively new back then. So they wanted to encourage uh, exploration and clicking and, and uh, just... Uh, I, I think they were the first ones to really flaunt the abilities that you could go to different worlds uh you just using portals and things like that uh and you can see that the the quick progression between their three um exploration games and when mist came out now the i can't really give this a thumbs up because it's only been ported i'm playing on a very very small screen you can't see this it's very very small on my computer screen in comparison uh that's because of it being ported it hasn't been updated with uh high definition graphics it's had a few easter eggs thrown in uh but that's relatively all it's had uh the music's really bad to this and uh that's why i've actually turned it off um, so you probably not won't even get the sounds and half the enjoyment is just to click on the various places and find the sounds and uh, whatnot but anyway let's go um, I'm not sure if actually uh, should we go this way I'm actually gonna go here so if we touch this we get into the fire hydrant we can click uh, there's no end goals there's no so it's not reading it out to me. No, it's stopped. Oh no, now it's gone again. Wow, see, even just things like that, whether you gain it's a very badly ported version of it, and I, I wish they kind of, uh, you know, updated it, uh, made it high definition graphics. So basically, that letter was being written, uh, read out, and unfortunately, when there's uh, some sort of animation or sounds, if you click it during that time, it will freeze the program, uh, and that becomes the hardest. So I'm just going to show you the different uh, ways of, so you can change the hats here and if you go back you have now and i can decorate the couch if i want to do um if i click on this um has it stopped again no it hasn't okay so each one has a different kid going boat candle and if um sometimes it's cute the way the kids actually say it um but as you can see, it's a really a childish game. Uh, if you want to look into the exploration side of things, I recommend two games uh, that I've come across which I really enjoyed as an adult. Uh, they are Botanicula and also uh, Windowsill. Uh, both of these games aren't done by Sion Inc. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, they, they are really, really good for just the exploration idea. Um, so this was the first game that came out by Cyan Inc. Uh, then they did Cosmic Cosmo, and I think a game called Spelunk, something like that. And uh, they, 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 they were the ones that were just recommending 
um, exploration and trying to get kids to understand you can um, explore and click around. Uh, this, I think this is an update, unless if they were thinking, I think this is an easter egg. Uh, because Osmo was their next game. So just in case, and that's all I wanted, really wanted to show you there. Um, but if you keep clicking, you'll go through the various things. Um, uh, there's a dragon. I think if I click on the dragon, I'll go to the dragon's lair. Which I shouldn't have done because I can't get back now, I don't think. Um, and you can change the music on this thing, which I've actually turned off. Why is there... Huh. Okay. Well, there you go. I've played this game for over an hour. I, I I knew there was a penguin in there somewhere, but I did not know how to get to the penguin. That's how you get to the penguin. Ah, and when you add the characters, you see the characters become... Well, there you go. I had no idea. Um, and you just get to see different uh, characters. I might actually turn the sound back on just for a little while so you can see what it is. I did it work? Oh, goody, goody! A small bipedal individual to join me in my explorations. My small boat is your small boat. Okay. Did you touch the candles? That's the funniest part, actually. And, and there's, a, there's a clock there that goes 836. 836. Believe it or not, I've never been here either. <laughs> oh, okay, this is the other My one. name is Theodora Morena Campfilabacter, but my friends call me Aunt Molly. Okay. I have actually been here before. Ah, uh, but that's all right. You just go out and you can get back in there again. Uh, the telephone and there's about nine, uh, nine numbers that you can ring, and these are all the different um, characters you can find. And I guess the objective is just to find where you find the characters. Like, for instance, the um, the other thing you might not know if you click out here, you can actually Click on the stars. But you 
you better hurry. Mr. Dragon may be cooking up some biscuits. You're still here? I'm very sorry, but I have no tea or milk to offer you. You're still here? I'm very sorry, but I have no tea or milk to offer you. Alright. Anyway, I think you've seen basically what this game has to offer. I'm just going to go uh, finding a way out. Um, no, it's back. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here. Can I? No, there's actually a place over there, but you have to unlock it. I'm actually gonna go down, and I'm gonna go back in here. So you remember how we got to here, and I think that was when we got to the dragon. Play ball! Play ball! Okay. So basically, we're gonna go into this room here. Um, oh, this is pretty funny. Welcome to my hydrant. Could I interest you in a hot cup of tea? I'm gonna yeah. go, yes. So we, there we go, we drank the tea. Alright, watch this. Welcome to my hydrant. Well then, how about a glass of cold milk? Yes, yes. please. <laughs> I have no idea why. Uh, oh, here's the clock with uh, 36. I repeat whatever the time is that you have. It actually tells you what the time is. I thought it was just... Ah, oh, that's a bit more clever. There you go. What's that? It's a wild. Why is there a wild? How do I get back to that? Somewhere. I should be doing something. Anyway, um, if you click on this TV set, and you'll get a probably about a 10 minute uh, the making of mist um, I'm not going to show you the whole 10 minutes because uh, it's yeah again watching it on such a small screen is ridiculous and why they didn't update this and just improve it is beyond me uh, but if you want to watch this on YouTube you can yeah it was a documentary originally released on the uh, mist CD-ROM so it's basically the same thing. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, then I strongly suggest going onto YouTube and type in the making of mist and then you should be able to come across this exact same uh, little te television that we're watching. So that was a little thing that was added by them. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think you've seen enough of that, um, we're going to Okay. Steer right, Steer. Metaphors of. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I think this is. We're not going to open that one because that one actually goes. Oh, this is pretty cool. Allison one. Dream me, eat me. <laughs> That's good. Oh, that one. And. Okay, so this is actually another portal, and we come to this portal, and you'll notice we now actually have a lot of secret area. So you can, I think, the dragon is out. So if you approach the tower from this way, you get to see the dragon. But that's it, there's really not much more to it. Uh, we'll go down. I'll show you the other parts. So if you click in here. Uh, again, here's the other phone number so you can use. Let me see, you've got two legs. I've got eight. I'm four times better than you. Remember, this is the first game that the... Surely it's not time to get up, is it? 
So that's it, uh, basically that's just stopped the game. Uh, there's a little area in here yeah, that you can go and there's an area outside. Again, not really worth the money I'm afraid, but um, it comes in a package that Cyan Inc has uh, and I really hope uh, that they do maybe make a, 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 a high definition version of this and uh, maybe make it with achievements so that there is some sort of meaning and endless end goal to it all. Uh, if you want to try exploration games, again, go to Botanicula or uh, Windowsill. They're the two games that I highly recommend, which are just about exploration. Well, until next time, bye for now.